location? Like, you know, I, I don't. It's it's a tough call, really. Right. You know, would you ban someone because another site said that they did something? And, and that's sort of where we're at with now is that some companies have decided to do that. WSOP has decided not to do that. I met with Jack Apple the other day, the vice president of World Series of Poker, asked his opinion about it. You know, he said, hey, how do we how do we know, right? Like, even right. though they are partnered with GG Poker and this all happened on GG Poker, so theoretically they have access to information if they really wanted to. But I think it's there's no precedent for it yet, but it's going to take the community to really speak up and demand that something happens. And I don't think we've really seen that so far. Right. You know, I, I, I've, I've been against this for years, one of the only people really talking about any of this stuff happening on any of the sites and with the players. So, you know, at this point in time, I'm, I don't know exactly what, what my stance is going to be on a lot of these things because it's exhausting to care about this. Yeah, it really like, is. And what's, it's, what's the reason to care about it for well, a lot of reasons? It, it is, and it's a shame that, that you know, the poker, um, these controversies keep happening. It's like, especially with some of these players that the, the, are really the, good this to guy, begin with. The guy's the biggest winning player of yeah. all time. It's, it's, like, it's, why, it's ridiculous, you know, right? So I mean, it, it, it's, sad. It, it's a shame. I think a shame is a good word to say it. Obviously, that's, what, that's why guys like Dan Negreanu, you know, you know, the more time that goes by, the more respect I got for this guy, Dan Negreanu, because this guy's vlogging every day, like, he's staying out of trouble somewhat. And you know what I'm saying? Like, his biggest trouble is, like, he kicked it. He's, like, acting up on a live stream against Doug Polk, you know? So, so we're back in action. Good talk on that. We'll continue that. But, uh, folks, this is a splash pot, too. $2,000 was put in the pot and it went straight to the flop without any betting. And Anastasia's in a box. Oh, man. One of the great dealers here at the Lodge. So once again, guys, Bomb Pod goes straight to the flop. 2K is added in by Coinflex. There's going to be a 2K plaque awarded to each player. Of course, in these spots, the you know, you kind of got to be careful in the Bomb Pods because anyone could have anything. It's not just aces, not just kings. Anyone could have any two cards here. So the certain hands become less 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 strong in strength and uh, it's a whole dicey situation that people are trying to figure out. Brad's got top two pair, gets called by Mark Lamb with the flush draw and gutter. Turns the and so Mark Lamb turns the king high flush. Brad Owen obviously hates that card. Any king any eight now beats him. Mark does check. Now Brad obviously kind of disgusted by this turn. He's going to check back, hope to the queen or a jack. River 7, now Mark Lamb has to decide how much to bet. The pot is not 20,000. Yeah. Seven? <laughs> Pretty easy fold for Brad. He can only beat a... Yeah, I don't even know what he can beat here. Jack, Jack five. Right. Right. I don't think he can call with Jack five. Uh, ten here. I mean, that was literally the worst turn card in the deck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when he's thinking about hands, what hand, would, would, would Mark do this with a queen? Maybe like queen four, just like not sure what he's doing, trying to go for some value. You know, it's kind of what you got to be thinking about in Brad's situation. That was it, he says. Okay. Let me try and figure this out. If I was Brad, I would talk to this guy more. This guy seems pretty open to conversation during yeah. the hand. I might ask some more questions. That's amazing, actually. Yeah, Mark, Brad's basically saying that the only hand I'd be here is a queen. This guy's a new player. Would he maybe mistake a queen for a bigger value? He makes the call. Mark's going to show him the flush. You got to show first. You got to show first. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and Mark Lamb's going to win the coin flex. 
the Flex USD placard. The seven was irrelevant. Nothing better when the opponent jumps up and cheers in your face when you make a, make a big call in the river and lose. Nice hand, nice hand. <laughs> then you got to pretend to smile and love it. For those of you wanting to know about the lodge, it is bring your own beverage. We do serve free uh, soft drinks. But if you want to bring your own liquor, you can bring it in. What? Yeah, there's